Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Alexa. I'm the genius behind the Baldwins, which is my Sims 4 voiceover series. That's right, I write the scripts by myself, I film and edit the whole thing, and I even do all of the voices. But the one thing I do not do is build my own lots like houses, the school, and such. I've just never been talented enough to build my own, so I just downloaded lots that other people built for the Baldwins. But recently, I actually attempted to build a house. And in this video, I'm going to show it to you. Now let's get into it. Okay, so this is it, my very first Sims build. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I love how realistic it looks from both the outside and the inside. Don't worry, I'm going to show you the inside in just a second. My inspiration for this build is definitely Maryland homes. I love the state of Maryland because of how beautiful the houses are, and it was the look I was going for. Now, I have to warn you, I did use a lot of custom content in this build because I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. I hope that's okay with you guys, and let's get into the tour. Let's go through the front here, so I can show you the front entrance. I love this door, it's so realistic. So this is what you see when you first walk in the house. It's the front entrance with the staircase, the split level staircase, I think it's called. Here you have the office slash a sitting area slash library. Over here, we've got the dining room. It's a pretty nice dining room, very realistic. And this is the downstairs hallway. Over here, we have the downstairs bathroom. How did that get up there? Never mind, you can always fix it when you download it. Anything that got messed up, you can easily fix, don't worry. Over here is just a closet. There's, yeah, this is just a closet. <laughs> Over here we have one of the bedrooms. This is kind of like a guest bedroom. This isn't anyone's bedroom in particular. There, There's a bookshelf, there's a closet rocking chair. Yeah, this is a pretty nice bedroom. Very realistic. Let's explore the rest of the house. Here we've got the uh, family room or living room or whatever you want to call it. I love the way the living room looks. So in here you've got the main TV, the fireplace, the couch, a pet bed, a dog bed, as you can see, I, I went for the realistic look. Over here, we have the kitchen slash dining room. This is the dining room with the dog bowls and the dining table. Yeah, this is the kitchen. It's a pretty nice kitchen, you could say. Cluttered up the counter with uh, custom content. <laughs> In here, we have the pantry with all the snacks. It's not a realistic kitchen without a pantry. Okay, so moving on, let's go upstairs. Here we have the upstairs hallway. From here, you can see the downstairs. From, from this side, you can see the living room slash family room, which is very realistic. I, I love that. So over here, we have a, the main upstairs bathroom. This is what it looks like. Let me zoom out so you can see better. Yeah, you've got the sinks, the bath slash a shower, and the toilet. And over here, we've got uh, one of the bedrooms. This is supposed to be the younger brother's room. This is his desk. As you can see, we've got an iPad, a fidget spinner, stuff like that, his backpack, he's got his bed, some clothes on the floor, very realistic detail, cluttered up dresser, little sitting area with beanbag chairs, a fan, and some of his childhood artwork. And across the hall we have a Another bedroom. This is the uh, older brother's bedroom. 
So this is a five bedroom house, guys. One of the bedrooms being downstairs. So in this bedroom, we have another a cluttered up dresser with uh, sports trophies. Yeah, he's a big sports fan. We've also got his bed. The, the walls are all cluttered up. His desk with, with his laptop and everything. His books. And he also has a TV in his room with a game console because he loves to play video games and some seating. A lot of clothes on the floor because he's messy. Let's go take a look at the other bedrooms. So over here we have uh, the uh, sister's bedroom, the girl's bedroom. As you can see, she's also an athlete. So she has trophies, medals, the pictures of, of her teams. She has her purses hanging from the door. Here she has a walk-in closet, a big closet with uh, some bags hanging there and a lot of shoes. And over here we have a, a little sitting area, her desk, her cluttered up dresser, some clothes on the floor. That's her, she has her makeup on here along with a mirror and a lot, a lot of clutter on the wall and around her bed and some string lights. She loves music, so I put a keyboard in here, full-length mirror, and this is her bed with all of her uh, pillows. And we've also got a cluttered up nightstand with the lamp, of course, some candles and, and her phone and everything. Let's go take a look at the master bedroom. And over here we have the master bedroom, also known as the parents' bedroom. Got their bed, cluttered up nightstands, some seating here, the hamper and indoor plant. This is their cluttered up dresser again. And they have a master bathroom, which is another cluttered up counters, a toilet, a shower, a soaking tub, yeah, I couldn't forget a soaking tub. This house is too nice not to have one. And over here we have the walk-in closet in the master bedroom. Let me zoom out so you can see it better. So you have a whole walk-in closet. You have some suitcases, duffel bags, some shoes on the floor, a full-length mirror, a shoe rack on the wall, all that good stuff. And now we're done touring the upstairs. I love this view of the family room slash living room. So now let's move on. So also in the downstairs hallway, we have the basement. All right, so let's head down to the basement. So this is the finished basement. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the wall, as you can see. Over here, you've got some more uh, pet bowls and a litter box and cat tree because there might be cats living down here. You've also got a guitar and drum set, punching bag, some exercise equipment, and you've also got the TV with a, another game console and some DVDs. Yeah, you've got a nice uh, sitting area for the TV. And also down here, you've got a pool table, which is really nice. Basketball arcade machines, some weights, some old arcade machines. And over here we have a, a, a storage space in the basement. I, I just cluttered it up with a lot of boxes and, and old stuff. As you can see, I took my time on this for sure. And you've also got an old guitar and a Sesame Street rug. And you've got a little utility box over here where you control the power and such. And here is the basement bathroom. It's, there's nothing much to see here. It's just, it's just a bathroom with a toilet and sink. That's all. And... That's pretty much it for the basement. It's a pretty nice basement, as you can see.
this is a nice house, so I wanted the basement to be especially nice. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, so next up we have the laundry room. This is the laundry room. It's pretty nice. It, there's a washing machine and dryer cluttered up at the top with a laundry basket. And this is where you enter the house from the garage. You also have a, a vacuum cleaner, a mop, a broom and dustpan, some coat hangers. And here we have the garage. Yes, this is the garage. This is a two car garage. I and I, I put some some bikes on the on the wall of the garage, as you can see. In this part of the garage we have a hose and and some bikes and scooters and a skateboard and such. And also a lawnmower. We have a the garage refrigerator. Yeah, I tried to I'd go for the realistic garage look. As you can see, this is what it looks like from the outside. Pretty nice, right? Here we've got a basketball hoop. And over here we've got the outdoor trash cans with some trash bags cluttered up. And last but not least, we've got the uh, backyard slash outdoor area. That mailbox is not supposed to be there. I, I don't know why it keeps appearing. But back here we've got the grill the hot tub, the outdoor dining table. As for the mailbox, if you download this house, feel free to put that out front because I forgot to add a mailbox to this house. Yeah, feel free to put this mailbox out front if you want. And over here we've got the pool. Over here I've got a storage box and a hose. Here's some lounge chairs where your Sims can just lounge by the pool. This is the pool, realistic pool. In here I've got a beach ball, some pool noodles, some pool floaties. I added some detail to the pool as you can see, including the pool stairs. And outside here we have a trampoline and a backyard playground. This trampoline isn't functional. It, it's just decoration, but... And I've looked everywhere for a realistic backyard playground uh, for The Sims 4, and I just can't find one anywhere, so this is as close as we can get. And believe it or not, that concludes this house tour. So yeah, this is my first ever Sims build, and I hope you guys liked it. It's on my Patreon if you want to download it. The link to my Patreon is down in the description below. It's Neurodivergent Sims. To download it, what you do is you download every single file attached to the post. The files starting in 0x, put in your tray folder. And the files ending in .package, put in your mods folder. I also uploaded it to the gallery, although you wouldn't get any of the custom content. You would just get the shell and that's it. But my ID on the gallery is Alexa Gerard 98 all lowercase. And make sure include custom content is checked. Anyways, if you like my videos, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you've never seen my Sims 4 voiceover series, The Baldwins, please do yourself a favor and check it out. I promise you, you'll be hooked after watching just one episode. And please share the Baldwins with your friends and family so that it can get noticed. Anyway, please comment down below your thoughts on this house and if I should build more houses. I'm also going to get more Baldwins episodes up really soon, so please stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching.